Hey everyone, it's Bubbles, and welcome back to my channel. Also, welcome if you are new. So, today's video is gonna be a modern beach house. I've been in kind of a summery mood lately in terms of builds and, like, creatism, so I just decided to do this today, or for this week. Uh, so, this is a 40 by 30 lot in Sulani, which is the island living world, and it's a beachfront lot, so half of it's on land and half of it's on the water, and it has two bedrooms, but it's got enough room for up to four sims because I put two bedrooms in, like, the guest bedroom, but there's basically room for two parents or a couple and then, um, two kids. I built the guest room as a kid's room, but you can put, like, your teenager in there or you can switch the bed out and put a toddler or, you know, an adult sim, I don't care, whatever, whatever you want to do, um, but there are only two bedrooms, so, um, and there, the, the kids' room has also got kids' toys in it, since I built it with it being, like, a family rental home in mind, so if you don't want to play with those, you can just delete them out and replace them with whatever you want else in there, so, yeah, but... I did build this with the thought that it would be a rental house, so I didn't put as much, like, decor, like, personalized decor inside the house since it's, like, like a vacation home, if you will, but if you guys want to download it, you can change it to a residential lot. It has everything you should need. I mean, a vacation home should also have all the necessities anyway, but you get my point. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing today. And I really like how it turned out. I like that I did, like, I used those, like, wall divider thingies from Eco Lifestyle, which I really like. And I used them kind of to make like, divisions off the spaces, but not an actual wall so you can see through them. I did put them as replacements for, like, the exterior walls of the actual house, which I did like, and I thought it looked nice, but I ended up having, like, deciding to take them out and just replace them with these, like, slatted windows we have from Island Living, just because it was screwing up the lighting in those areas, so, like, the entryway with the stairs led up to the second level hallway where it had those, like, slatted, uh, wall details, and it was screwing the light up in there, so it was, like, really dark compared to the other rooms, so I just took it out and put a row of slatted windows, which you'll see, I think, like, near the end of, um, like me finishing the shell and the floor plan, but I did create a bunch of like balconies and um, just like, I don't know what else you would call it, I guess balconies off the, like the f first floor has like an outdoor seating area, like two of them, and then the upstairs has the big deck on top and then the balcony out the front and then of course it's got like the downstairs decking area in the back so I wanted there to be kind of a lot of outdoor seating and lounge areas since it is a beach house and they only have like one kind of climate warm so I thought it looked nice and I kind of gave it a different shape out the back instead of just flat because I thought it looked more interesting and then I like how I put those wall divider things out the back so it kind of gave more privacy but still was open um, and then now I'm kind of figuring out like the floor plans so what I like to do for these builds if I'm not really sure of how I want the floor plan to go I kind of use 
the objects I want to place down in the build to kind of mark the areas off and to make sure that they're big enough for the furniture I want to put in. So, like, in the lounge room here, I just put all the furniture items I wanted to put down in there just to make sure I had enough space. And then I always start with the first floor with bigger homes so I can figure out where the staircase can go and be, like, appropriate because I don't want my staircases to ever be in, like, a weird hallway unless it's, like, an older house. But, like, for something like this, I decided to put it right at the entrance because to me that made sense. Um, and then I'm on the second floor now and I wanted the master suite to be pretty big and I also wanted the ensuite to the master bedroom to be really big and luxurious. So it's got like a jacuzzi tub, a shower, and a double vanity that I will put in when I start furnishing, but I do kind of just lay those pieces out so I can mark what I want there at first. Um, and yeah, so the kind of color scheme I went for this house was a lot warmer. I used a lot of like natural sandy colors and just like orangey colors and pops of other color like yellow and blue. Like here in the kitchen I put a yellow stove and fridge that match because I thought it looked nice with the light wood in the kitchen and then like in the hallways and the entry, I put, like, a blue rug, a pattern rug. That way it kind of gave more, I don't know, more uniqueness, I guess, more color. Um, and then I kind of just kept the wall painting and paper the same throughout the whole build, but I did put some accent walls, so, like... In the entryway, I put one wall of solid blue, and then I put it in the lounge room, and I think I put, like, an orangey accent wall in the master bedroom, and then, like, an olive green in the kids' room, because I just wanted there to be some color in it. And then, on the outside, I just started adding more detail once I got the floor plan done, so... These, like, roof hangings, and then here, I'll, this is when I actually swap out the wall dividers with slatted windows, because I thought it would fix the lighting, and it did, so, um, and I kind of put a more, like, organic-looking wood on those spaces and kind of framed them with columns, because I thought that looked better, but on the outside, I kind of just added some more greenery because I didn't want everything to, to be just like sandy color because it need I still think it needed to stand out from the beach so I kind of put like little grassy areas like planty areas out that line like each of the decks and the balconies and then I just put like the grass we got from Island Living and a few, like, tropical plants just to put some more color in. And then I used, like, the hanging plants that kind of cascade down from the roof that I really like doing for these kind of lots. And then, because I kind of already figured out how the house was situated on the lot, I went ahead and started doing the landscaping and for these kind of lots their landscaping is super simple it's I just put a few patches of greenery and a few palm trees out the front um I don't do much in the back besides add if I want the family to have like the pool floaties or like the water jets which I did put for this family um for some reason, they deleted when I went to take screenshots, so you won't see them in the screenshots, but they are there for 
the gallery post, which I don't know what happened. I didn't touch them. <laughs> they just deleted. So, I mean, whatever. Um, and then I just decided to put a little campfire seating area in the front with some terrain paint just to give it some more detail. I really like the kind of burnt sandy terrain paint for these lots. Um, and it just kind of breaks up like the texture a little bit, but, um, and then I always forget trash cans, but this time I didn't, I think I forgot something else. I don't know, <laughs> but, um, and then the front two porches have the exact same furniture. So I cut out me furnishing the first one since it's exactly the same as the second one. And then I wasn't recording when I did the entrance, like the outside entrance, so it only has like a carpet and a couple plants. And then I just put like these nice hanging lights for Mylan Living around the whole build. They look kind of like little lanterns, which I thought was nice, but I think that's all I had to cut out because I wasn't recording with my reshade. But anyway, um, and so now we're decorating the entrance and for these bigger builds, I like to go kind of in order of how the rooms are laid out just so I can stay organized in it. I just go through it and for the first floor and then I go through the second floor and then I finish whatever I need to in the back and then I'm done. So yeah, um, I, there is like, three bathrooms in this house? Yeah, three. So there's the master ba bathroom and then there's the second bathroom upstairs and then this bathroom is downstairs right near the entrance. Um, I did put laundry machines in this. Oh, that's the thing I forgot. I forgot to put laundry baskets in the other bathrooms. Um, so if you don't want to play with laundry, you can just take it out and just put, I don't know, decor in that corner or whatever, but I did forget to put laundry baskets in the other bathrooms, so you might want to do that if you want to download this because I'm pretty sure your sims will just throw their clothes on the floor, so, <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know if I already said, but since this is a rental house, I didn't put a lot of personalized decor and clutter in here, so I kind of kept it pretty simple, especially in, like, the bedrooms, um, but for the kitchen, I still made sure it looked, I don't know, usable. Like, there was enough utensils for it to be a kitchen, because I feel like if you don't put something in the kitchen, it looks very bare and boring, but yeah, and so I really like the kind of decor area I put behind the kitchen with that painting that I never use, but I found it again. It's actually from, I believe it's from Dino, but I thought it looked nice in this kind of a build, and then I used quite a bit of items from Island Living, and then I used quite a few pieces from, like, Eco Lifestyle, since I think there's some idols, items that look really nice in these kinds of builds, but yeah. And then I put quite a bit of plants and quite a bit of candles, since I wanted it to be, like, a nice, warm, and cozy look. Um, and then there is no dining room in this floor plan. I just didn't have enough room on the inside, so I just didn't put one in here. But there is a big table, dining table, on the back decking, so I figured that was fine since, I mean, it, it is a vacation home, so it's not like your sims would have to stay inside if it gets cold, because it doesn't get cold in Sulani, so yeah. Um, and then I kind of kept the decor on the stair landing area, hallway, whatever, the same as the entrance, just because, I don't know, rental homes aren't, like, 
super decorated and the art that they put them in them isn't like super personalized so I thought it was okay to kind of copy some of the same stuff I had been using um and then there's like a seating area out on one of the balconies and then uh when you come up to the stair landing that one door outside the master bedroom is does lead out to a balcony which also has a door that leads into the master suite and I could have like split them split that balcony up and made it into two so that the master bedroom had its own balcony but I thought it looked better if it was just one seamless balcony out the front so I mean yeah um if you want to change it go right ahead I don't care <laughs> but and then the this is the master bedroom and I just kind of put some more decor in here and made it feel like more luxurious more like a nice hotel bathroom um and I really like how it turned out. I like the tile on the floor. I think it looks nice. And it's got some hints of blue. But for the master bedroom, I went for like a salmon-y, pinky, orangey kind of colors. Um, I thought it suited the warm vibe of the whole house. But you can see it in like the curtains and there's like a seating that has a similar color on the cushions and yeah so I did use like all the furniture in this has matching light wood swatches and I just thought it I liked it better when it was kind of unified with all light wood um it depends on the build if I want to put like mismatching one but most of the times it just kind of bothers me if it doesn't match so <laughs> I don't know it's like a weird OCD thing but yeah I just I put a desk in here and then you know everything your sims need so a dresser and a mirror um and yeah so I did use that pot that we got from a recent base game update it actually came from, I believe it was Hispanic Heritage Month, and it's super nice, especially sized down, and I put kind of another plant in it. Um, there's a lot of swatches that come with those pots, and they're really nice, and I thought they suited this kind of color scheme, more of like a tropical color scheme really well, but anyway, so... Now we're on the kids' bedroom, but it's just two twin beds, and I went for a green theme in here. Um, I thought the olive color was really nice, and I really wanted to use those curtains in that olive color, so yeah. Um, so I used the dark weathered swatch to the furniture, because I thought it looked really nice, and then I put some clutter in here for kids like a few stuffed animals I put those toy boxes at the end and then just a few other clutter items like on the dresser just to make it look a little more kid friendly and yeah so I think the only thing I have left is the first floor um, deck area but I basically just put an outdoor grill area like a nice big outdoor barbecue area and then in the middle there's kind of a the dining room or not dining room sorry dining table and then in the one of the corners it's another like large seating area and then out the back like right up against the edge of the decking area is the sun chairs we got from Island Living so and I kept those in like a nice blue swatch and that's about it so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Um, if you guys want to download it, it's already on the gallery and all the information you need about the gallery post is in the description. Um, if you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos, please subscribe. I would greatly ap appreciate it. And like the video if you want to see more. Um, if you have any suggestions for me for other builds I can do, please let me know in the comments. And I think that's it. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.